what's up guys war here welcome back we're doing another demon hunter god of dh the gears of dreadland build video for you guys um this is just all original gears of dreadlands we're doing speed and push they're going to be in the same video because only a couple things change but i wanted to make this video just in case if there was people that were still playing this build or maybe you're playing this build until you can get other things but the build is still okay not much has changed from the last season uh, but I wanted to make this video just in case if you guys want to play this. I think the T16 build for God DH, which we did earlier, I'll link that above. That's probably the only one that's going to be relevant when it comes to GR speeds and pushing. You're just going to want to be playing the the Impale build. Strafe Impale is just better than this. But I wanted to showcase this build just for you guys if there's any OG Gears of Dreadlands players out there. So let's get into it, man. We're going to go in. We're on a... We're doing a G. We're going, I think we can do a GR95 with this build pretty fast. So let's just hop into it. The build hasn't changed. As you guys see it right there at the start, we casted Vengeance. And the only power that we can use for gears is the one where we cast Vengeance and we get a barrage of missiles that do like some in increased damage, which is really cool. Um, it doesn't do as much damage. You can see the little things right there. Uh, against like the bigger mo or excuse me, the, like the Rift Guardian or the Elites and stuff like that. But it is a cool ability to have um, on top of what you're doing because everything is just better strafing. And obviously we're already strafing, so we don't need to take that power for any reason. So as you can see, we're kind of running out of uh, our resource here, our hatred, which is kind of annoying because there's just no monsters on this. Come on, game. Give me some monsters so I don't look stupid for the YouTube video. I'm trying to showcase the build. Okay, apparently we're just really strong for 95s with uh, the speed build. But everything is played the same, guys. You're just going to be casting uh, Vengeance. Get that popped. You're going to be racking up your momentum stacks with 100 arrow. And then you're just going to be strafing around. And every, like, three, four, five seconds, you're just going to want to hit your hungering arrow again. Make sure we keep all those stacks up, okay? The build is very easy to play. And nothing has really changed from it from last season um, or the last couple seasons. So, the build is still really fun. But as you can see, we're just, like, not ripping through these guys like we would on the Impale build. Or even probably some multi-shot variants that would be really strong at, at GR90 or 95. So it's really hard to tell, but every time we cast Vengeance, we get those rockets, which I think is really cool. I just don't think they do enough damage. And to be honest, every 30 seconds of rockets is just not enough damage or an ability that we can use often enough to see like any significant difference. I mean, I'm casting it, but it just doesn't... You see them on screen, it just doesn't feel like it does enough damage. So, Well, look at that, though. We got two really good floors. Isn't that great? But the build is still pretty solid, guys. Like, not a whole lot has changed. I still really enjoy the Gears of Dreadland set. Um, and I think next season, after these this Angelic Crucible stuff goes away, I think Gears will be right back on top because Multi-Shot will fall off and, of course, Impale will fall off. But I think with the Strafe ability, it just makes those builds really, really good. So, man, we are just, like, kind of crushing through this right now. GR95, man. The build is still very, very fun. I know a lot of people are just going to go, well, yeah, you just play straight, or you play Impale or Multishot. Yeah, you definitely do. You just play both, guys. But you can see we're still crushing. Like, the, the build still does really good for speeds. Like, it's not, it's not terrible. You know, and even on the Rift Guardian, like, we may not kill the Rift Guardian as fast as Impale, but I still think it's really good. It's still really, really solid. You know, we, we cleared it in what? Three minutes, I think. Two minutes. Not bad. Let's go back to town and check. Cleared it in three minutes, guys. Cleared it in three minutes. GR95. The build is still fast, which means that we could probably clear a GR90 in two minutes, which would be really, really fast. The only problem is, is keeping our hatred spender just up. We just don't have a whole lot of hatred because we're just moving around too much. But let's check out the build, guys. We're going to go over everything that you need to get this thing popping if you are going to play some Gears of Dreadlands this season, which I don't see a whole lot of people playing. So you have the full Gears of Dreadlands set. We're not running the Ring of Goro Grandor, so we're running the full set, complemented with a Hunter's Wrath for more primary damage and attack speed, and then ra uh, Wraps of Clarity for more defense. Every time we tap our Devouring Arrow, it's going to reset this. 
Then, of course, our weapons are Fortress Ballista, which is going to give us a shield every time we're attacking. And then, of course, Dawn, which is going to have the Angelic Crack Power on there, which is going to give us our Vengeance ability. Our Rings and Amulet, of course, we got Scorch Necklace for double damage and then Focus and Restraint. Every time we're hitting Devouring Arrow, it's going to proc this, which is going to be fantastic. Into the cube, we have our ninth series satchel, which gives us a guaranteed pierce and increased damage for Hungering Arrow. Dev Diggers, the more primary damage, which is our Hungering Arrow. And then Convention of Elements, COE, for just more damage when we get our rotations over to cold, which will be fantastic. Our skills and passives, of course, Devouring Arrow, Hungering Arrow, Strafe, Drifting Shadow for more speed, Smoke Screen for invulnerability. Bladed Armor, or excuse me, Bladed Armor Fan of Knives, which will give us some more defense. Uh, preparation Focus Mine uh, to get back more discipline because we're going to be spamming these two like crazy. And of course, Vengeance Dark Heart for more damage reduction and damage increase. S passive skills. Uh, we have Numbing Traps for just damage reduction against our enemies. Uh, tactical Advantage for more speed movement or movement, you know, around the map. Ambush for more damage and Cull of the Weak for more damage. Uh, our legendary gems, we got Taguk for more damage and more armor stacks. Simplicity Strength for increased damage for our primary abilities, which is the entire build. And then Bane of the Trapped, which is great for just CO or, you know, control impairing effects against our enemies, which will also help proc our Call of the Week. Okay, into our stat priorities, guys. It is the same gear that we did in our previous video, but you're going to want Dex crit and then hungering arrow damage instead of all resist the shoulders you're going to want dex vit and then area damage instead of all resist uh for the gloves you want dex crit crit area damage instead of vitality our chest piece you want dex vit armor the belt you want dex vitality armor hungering arrow damage pants you want dex vit hungering arrow damage uh, the paint or the boots excuse me you want dex vitality armor and instead of movement speed you're going to want all resist onto our amulet you want dex crit crit i mean this is fine you could swap out dexterity for something else if you wanted to or just damage or area damage but dex crit crit is pretty good wraps of clarity cold skill dex vit crit chance uh, our weapon you want cold damage or just damage dexterity area damage cooldown our Dawn, which you're going to put the Sanctified Power in. Holy Damage, Dex, Area Damage, and Cooldown. Uh, and then for our Rings, you're going to want Damage, Crit, Crit, and Damage, Crit, Crit. Okay, so I don't have the necessary ones on here. We're close, but normal damage like we have on this one plus the two crits on both rings. Okay, those are the stat priorities, guys. This is the build. It's still okay. It's pretty solid. Now, when you look at the God Push build... Nothing really changes. There's only two things that change from this. And instead of running Fortress Ballista for shield, we run Vala's Bequest because this helps us pierce everything while we're strafing. And then instead of Tactical Advantage for more speed, we have Archery with the two-handed crossbows, which gives us more hatred. So we never run out of that, which is fantastic. Stat priorities on here, you're going to want damage, dex, area damage, and then you want resource cost reduction or cooldown, and then the strafe damage. That's just what I have. It's not the best. There's probably a couple other things that you could put on here, like uh, damage, dexterity, uh, area damage, and then you could do crit plus cooldown, which would be great. Both of those would be fantastic. And then make sure that with our max vengeance that you have your uh, cooldown reduction to be at 38% or more. Um, this is very important to make sure we keep our vengeance 100% uptime. Okay, so that is God Speeds and God Push. God Push can probably go up a little bit higher. You guys see on the leaderboards that it's not really doing too well. I mean, there's a couple 126 clears or 125, but it's mainly around the 115 area. Seems pretty solid for this build. So it's still not the best, but for people who love Gears of Dreadlands, if you are playing this, just have fun. I think the T16 build video that we did is probably the most viable when it comes to this season. But otherwise... Gears of Dreadlands, still really cool. Had to make the videos for you guys. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. That really does help out. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what do you think about Gears this season? Obviously, Impale and Multishot is just, just so much better and more fun than Gears. But let me know what you think about it this season. And that's it for today's video, guys. So thank you for watching. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.